Hello, this is the second of four in a series of short videos to introduce the GPS 72 for Mark Layers. Uh, it assumes you've already watched the first video or are already familiar with this Garmin unit. Uh, as you see, I have the GPS powered on and ready for use. It's in simulation mode as we are currently inside. Uh, I found trying to record this in a rib proved too challenging. The aim is to show you how to move around the various screens and menus uh, and to change data in a field ready to set the GPS up to position uh, marks on the course. The first screen uh, after power on is one of five. We really only need the third one, the compass screen. Uh, and that screen will be displaying two fields for bearing and distance. Uh, during uh, the use of the GPS we have no need to use the zoom in or zoom out buttons uh, and I think you will gradually become accustomed to what each one does and as you become more familiar and proficient you'll be fairly quick at doing this. So if I press the page button you will see that we move on to the map screen and I press again that's the third screen the compass screen which is the one we're going to be using and you can see it's displaying bearing and distance to the uh, uh, displayed waypoint in this case it's displaying man overboard press page again uh, and you can see what's called the highway page uh, and press again we've got the active go to Again, we're not using that page. If I press quit, you, I can go backwards, page, go forwards, page again, and I've gone full circle back to the first screen. Um, each of the screens has a menu associated with it. So if I press the menu button on that first screen, it comes up with uh, the menu appropriate to that. And if I press quit, I come out of the menu, if I press page again uh, on the map screen and press menu, uh, I get the menu associated with the map screen and quit takes me out of the menu. If I press page again, I'm on compass and if I press menu, uh, again the uh, menu appropriate to the compass page uh, and quit takes me out. press page uh, onto the uh, highway page, active go to, uh, press menu. Uh, you can see that on that page I've got the ability to add waypoints. We're going to add waypoints in a different way to uh, this though. Uh, most important, if we press the menu button twice at any time, uh, you will see that we get into the main menu uh, and the thing that we're going to be using most frequently is the points uh, so if I press the rocker down uh, and select the points option here by pressing enter uh, I then go into waypoints and if I press enter again you'll see that we have some waypoints currently uh, in the unit. Okay, one final thing I'd just like to draw your attention to uh, on the main menu uh, is down here is the battery meter. Uh, obviously quite important to know that the uh, unit has got enough power for the uh, rest of the day. Okay, I'll finish at that point. The third video covers how uh, we uh, set waypoints into the Garmin and how to adjust them uh, so that they are uh, at the correct position for the race marks.